Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the support. Before we hop into this video, I have a little thing I want to talk about. Today is Cyber Monday. So with that being said, we got a big sale going on on the website. We got some package deals, and we also are going to be doing every rod that you buy, or if you go purchase a rod on the website, you're going to get three packs of Strike King baits absolutely free. It's going to be two packs of soft plastics, one hard bait. They're going to be assorted, randomized in different colors. So go ahead and head over to kickingtheirbass.com. I have the link down below. If you purchase a spinning rod, you're going to get three packs of baits. If you purchase a bait caster, you're going to get three packs of baits. If you purchase even one of the packages I got on the website right now, which is a good deal, you'll get three packs of baits as well. And that's only going to last until tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So you got about 24 hours to do so. Go check it out. Link will be down below, kickingtheirbass.com. I appreciate the support. Let's hop into today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Hit the notification bell, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, I appreciate all y'all. We got Big Steve. Big Yo, Steve. What's Daddy, poppin', Daddy people? Daddy Van Dam back yeah, on the channel. Yeah, you know what's up. Bring Dad back. Hashtag down below. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, I bought me something today. Uh, I'll show you guys here shortly. But I bought me a, a nice little toy today, something for me to actually have fun with. Oh, that's awesome. Rather than be like branded in the business, you know what I mean? Something that I can keep clean, keep nice, have a daily driver now. But yeah, I, I just got it a few hours ago. So I'll probably make a video over that more in depth. This thing is freaking nasty, boys. But uh, yeah, so he's kind of helping me de-emblem some stuff on the car because I don't like a bunch of stickers on it as I have every rap vehicle in the world. But I'm not a big like sticker guy, but we also have somebody else out here today. We've got Mr. Allen Bob. What's, What's going on, Bob? people? What's going on? What's it's good, been Bob? great to be back, right? Yeah, I know, it has. It's a little cold. It I'm is, not, I'm it not is used chilly. To this weather. We, we are in Atlanta right now. You know, Thanksgiving was a couple days ago, so I came back, uh, saw the fam. Um, it was just my grandma that came over, my parents, and then Allen Bob was with us. But yeah, we had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you guys did as well. And uh, but yeah, so we're out here. We're gonna be heading back to Savannah, um, more than likely tomorrow. We might do some fishing in the morning. We're gonna see. I got the the whole rig out there behind me. But today we're gonna be doing some pond fishing. You know, there's a little pond here in my dad's neighborhood, and we're actually gonna be doing some live bait fishing. It's been a minute since I've done a live bait video, so I'm like, you know what? It's the perfect day to do some live bait fishing. It is a little bit chilly. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna go down there and see what we can do. Have a little friendly challenge and see if we can catch some fish. I stopped by Walmart. And got a few things, um, so I'm gonna show you all of that. Then we're gonna hop right into it. Do you have any cool people on here? Do cool people watch this? I mean, if there's any listen. cool people in here. Look, you gotta go in here and see what's in the garage. Uh -oh. Cool people will like what's in the garage over here. Yeah, yeah. This is cool people only, though. All right, show them. I can't show my my secret behind the the cam. You, you just know? Did. Go ahead. All right, give them a. That is a 1955 Chevy Bel Air. Yes, the same thing that your Grammy and Grampy used to pop. That's what they went to the drive-ins in. Grammy and Grampy. Used to pop? Used to pop that right there. <laughs> when they would go through the drive-thru, that's what they were riding in. Go look at the interior of this thing, dude. Yeah, the interior is the coolest part. Smoking hot. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, can't, I can't show the secret. I gotta go that far. Look at this far. Whoop. You guys can kind of see what it is. Oh my God, they could tell right there. Right in that window right there. Come right. on. Yeah, this is the coolest part. Dude, look how nice this thing is, man. It is sweet. I love the red interior. Everything's red. Like the floor, literally, literally the whole car is red. That is slick. We'll show you the little hot rod motor in here. It's a little old 400 horsepower. Small block Chevrolet. That's nice. Chevrolet. Look at this. I don't know. I'm more of a four guy, you know. The guy who worked on my car left his... uh. What? Left his coffee that, cup that in my joke. engine compartment. You didn't really get my joke, but. What? I said I'm kind of a Ford guy, you know. I don't know yeah, I right. <laughs> Need to call Ada up on the phone. <laughs> no Fords. No thank you. <laughs> we'll get some comments. What was on. that? You pulled a coffee out of Dude, here? Dude, the guy who, who, who tuned my car up for me the other day, I guess, left his coffee cup in here for me. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, this is what I like. Big boys toys. We like to have some fun, go to car shows. I got some videos out there. Go check them out. What's your channel? WFO Steve. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to hop into this one. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to show y'all what we picked up from Walmart. We're going to go down to the pond and we're going to have a good time. We got about 
45 minutes of daylight so we don't have a ton of time but i think we're going to be able to get done what we need to get done and then stay tuned for the upload uh upcoming videos if you guys haven't checked out the last episode too it's freaking wild um i ended up hooking into a donkey i mean a donkosaurus rex it's a double digit i'm not gonna tell you the weight you guys need to go check it out and we had it on scale too we we did have a scale that day and it was the first fish i caught of the day in, in a photo shoot it was just wild so go check out that video i'll link it down below it's a freaking banger boys and that fish that i caught was an absolute beast and if you guys want to see pictures of all that go follow me on instagram at kicking their best tv i'd really appreciate it trying to get more people from youtube over to ig so go check check me out all right y'all so i did stop by walmart i got a few things uh i had to get my man alan bob the avenger rod you know you know you had, had to get alan bob an old tiny little spinning combo got my dad won as well so they got a couple little micro combos i'm gonna be using a kicking combo which i'll show you in a second and i got some like smaller um light wire panfish hooks i got some bobbers i got some split shots and i also got the dancing rascals by bill dance look at that sexy man right there but yeah so that's what we're going to be using um and we're just going to go down there we're going to fish for whatever bites so like if a bass bites a bass bites if a bluegill bites a bluegill bites if a cat bites a cat bites All right bob that's right so i also got this kicking combo that's what i'm going to be using this is actually the one cody was using the other day so i'm gonna rig this bad boy up with it and uh yeah that's the combo that i'm using if you guys want to check out any of the kicking combos i will drop the link down below it's kickingtheirbass.com we got right hand bait casters left hand bait casters and also spinning combos and we actually have a sale going on right now for package deals so if you want to check that out and save a little bit of money Go ahead over to kickingtheirbass.com. Greatly appreciate you. All right, so I'm gonna get rigged up. And the thing is, I got this spinning combo on braid and I would normally add a leader, but I don't really have any. I, yeah, I could take some off that. I don't really think it matters though. Like, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. So I'll probably just, I'm gonna end up putting one of these hooks on. I'll put like one or two split shots and then we'll load up a bobber on there and I think we'll be good to go. We're good boys got us a bobber a split shot and a little hook i think that's the rig that we're gonna go with I just rigged it up on the kicking whole kicking combo i think we're gonna be good here i just got cheese balls i guess noah needs a head start because he knows cheese balls cheese balled cheese balled <laughs> the cheese ballio <laughs> so i guess noah needs a head start because he knows he was fishing against daddy van dam today so they rigged up their poles and they're all ready to go cast it and put their live wormy wormies in the water and they left me with nothing here. I absolutely have nothing. So I guess I'm gonna have to go swimming and get my fish. Bob, in the backyard. Bob. you gotta, what you got going on, Bob? You gotta put that on a little better cause it'll suck that thing right off. Bob, you don't want the fish sucking it off. You wanna rig up my worm. What are you doing? You don't know how to wiggle the worm? I can wiggle the worm, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, since Noah cheese ball me, I finally got my little dancing rascal on here. Let's go out here and show this little punk boy what's up. I don't know how you guys can tell, but this is like an eight foot one extra heavy rod that I'm fishing with. So we'll see how far of a cast I can make because you know, this thing's so big. Hey, you might want to stand back because the fish are about to start flying now. Woo hoo hoo, look at that. That's about a 10 foot cast already. What kind of pole did you give me? Well, Alan picked it out. Alan, you got the kick in their bass TV combo, and then I got this little thing. I mean, this is, this is like I know for, it's not this even. This is like for a three-year-old. It's not even a comparison. It's like you're driving a Lamborghini versus this, a Honda this Civic. This is like for a three-year-old to fish right, with. Listen, this ain't for big boys. Look at this. Uh oh, I got a nibble. Did you? I don't know what Cody did. Look at this. Come on, Cody. Look at this. What is this, dude? This is my smoothest cast and reel. Cody caught too many fish on it. It's a problem. I'm worried. So we came out here last night, Dad, two nights ago, and we made some casts for for bass, like just playing around. And uh, we didn't have a dang nibble. And he said that they you, they took out a lot of fish, right? Yep. Look at that, dude. Like we don't even have a nibble right now. They took a lot of the other ones out. That kind of worries me. Did you actually have a nibble? Yeah, I had a nibble. 
Which it is a big cold front. I mean, it just got cold like the last few days. So. Man, I'm getting some little nibbles right now. A little nibble, nibble, nibble. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Oh, oh, you got him. Oh. Let me show you how to catch them. Oh, so you just caught? Uh, you just I caught just gotta no. Right next to me. I just gotta. Where is the fishing I, etiquette? At I just anymore? gotta. I just gotta show them how to catch them. Oh, the fishing etiquette is dead, people. This is a real thing. Look, he's nibbling at me. I hope he swallows you up and breaks your line. <laughs> All right, I'm going down here. Let's see what we can get going down here, guys. Little, little slinger out there. Hey, fishing there, etiquette. Fishing etiquette. There's usually like a lot of bluegill and, oh, and bass okay. up in this area. Like the thing is like right here in the winter time, I don't know if these bass are gonna be up here so shallow, but there's usually a lot of bluegill in this area, like about right where I casted. And they're freaking huge too. Like they're they're bigger than my hand. So I'm hoping we can get on a few right here. It's just, it's so, I don't know. I don't know what they did to this pond. I don't know if they killed off all these fish or if the fishing is just tough because of the cold weather. So we're going to figure that out here shortly. Hopefully we're going to get some to bite. Hey, I'm a bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got him. He was running with you. Yeah, he's, he's going with it. You see him? He's got it. But he's walking with it, you see? Yeah, his is his is around. Oh, yeah, you got one? Yeah. That's how it works, people. Daddy Van Dam's in the house. Uh oh. That's a that's a big bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how it works. Okay. And I've said Stack this the cards against me and I'm still putting a whooping on them. You and know I've what I'm said this a million times before people were gonna comment about it. Did you read the comments in the last video? No. They were all roasting you because you're scared of fish, dude. I'm scared of fish. You're scared of fish. I'm well, scared dude, of nothing. You <sighs> He swallowed her? Oh yeah. Alright, y'all, there we go. First fish for big Steve. Nice little bluegill. He's not the biggest one, but he's a good one. You know? Not a bad one. Just don't let him eat the hook next time. <laughs> Anyways, what we were getting to, so everybody's making fun of you about not grabbing the fish. He's allergic to them. He literally can't touch them. If I slapped him with this fish right now, we would be going to the hospital. You would have to call the Bambi Lance. Yeah, the Bambi Lance would be coming out. It might take him a minute. So, yeah, we're not doing that today. But if he, literally, if this fish slime, like if I rubbed it against his arm, why are you scared of this fish? Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> He's scared of fish. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> but uh, if it gets on his arm, literally, he would swell up. And, like, the bad part would be, like, in his mouth or his eyeballs. That, that's when it would be very serious. But it would get me. All right, y'all. Big Steve got one on the board. I'm going to throw right here because I just saw one hit something. Maybe I'll get lucky real quick. It is super cold out here today, guys. I am not used to this weather. I'm ready to take me a trip to Florida. That's what I'm about to do because... I don't know, filming four or five days a week in uh, 30 degrees is not the most fun thing to do. I'd rather be in the hot sun in Florida with palm trees. You're going to go down there? All right. Just holler at me if you get a bite. I'm going to try to catch one right here real quick. Oh, it's really shallow over there. I might need to walk over there somewhere. You got one? Bob has his first fish. He caught him out in the middle. Is that bass? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, buddy. What? Oh, it's okay. Oh, what can I do? Yeah, Why is he doing that? What? Just a little skittish. Oh. Uh oh. Alan, Bobby, on board. What you got, Bob? Pretty little bluegill, dude. It's a nice one. Not a bad one. Dude, I'm telling you, there's Not brutes big, in here, Bob. Yeah, but good. that's still a nice bluegill. Good job, man. Good first fish. fish. Yeah, first fish. On the little rod. On the tiny rod. On the tiny? Tiny rod. Tiny rod. Can I just throw them out there? Yeah, just toss them. That'd I'm be like, all right. It's a little ro what? roller coaster rod, right? Oh, right. yeah. Good job, Bob. Yeah. You know, the bluegill, you usually get up in that pocket over there. And you can usually see them, but you know, not this time of year, not when it gets cold. Those fish are gonna get a little deeper and get off them banks. 
you know, there's usually a bunch of bluegill beds over there and those fish stack up so good, but you know, I don't know. I'll uh, see if we can get a bite out deeper here. We just gotta find these things stacked up. Once you find them, it's just gonna be like that, but I kinda wanna find some bass too, so we might be able to run into one. You got one? Oh, yeah. oh nice. Big Steve got him another one. Is that a bass or a bluegill? I'm gonna leave mine in the water in hopes that one will possibly get me while I'm taking this off the hook. Two for Daddy Van Dam. You notice that they're a little in the young punk today. They're a little. What you got to say to your fans about you getting whooped by the old man? Bob might be getting another one. I got a lot going on, man. There you go. Oh, you hooked it a little, little too, too much. Hooked it like you probably a ten got pounder. His lips on your hook down there. Poor guy. There we go. That's not a bad one. They're a lot smaller than when we were catching them, though. You remember <laughs> those ones that we were catching that day? They were freaking crazy big. But uh, that's a nice little fish. All right, buddy. Thank so you for biting. April, I'll, bring, I'll, I'll bring my fly rod out here. Yeah, they're probably fun to catch on a fly right rod, there, aren't they? And right there. They kill it, don't they? You'll catch well into 100. Really? All those good oh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice little fish. See you, bud. Well, guys, I got to catch fish. These boys over here are smoking them. And I got just a tiny little piece of night crawl. It looks like one kind of nipped at me. I'm going to walk in this little corner pocket and see if we can get one over here. Hopefully, we'll be able to grab one real quick. I got to catch me a few fish tonight. Got to catch me a few fish. Maybe we'll get lucky. It's so weird. It's like the, the bluegill are scattered right now. You know, they're not really stacked up. We're catching one here and there. And... You're kind of, it's kind of like we're fishing for bass, but we're waiting on them, you know what I mean? It's not like we're just dropping the bobber in a certain little hole and there's a bunch of fish there. Um, but there should be one right here somewhere. I just believe there should be one in this pocket. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. He's barely nipping at me. He might just have it. I might just need to lean up into him. He could have just took that worm right off right then. I think he did. I waited too long. Did he take it? I got a little piece. I mean, I got like a sliver of a worm on there. Hold on. We gotta catch this fish. I think I can catch him with that little bait. Then I'm gonna have to go get another night crawler. He's right there though. He should hit it. You can tell these fish are super lethargic and just slow right now. Keep counting with your hands? <laughs> because the all the all the line fell off of that reel. Is that a bass? Is it? No. No, it's a good bluegill. That's probably one of the best ones. Home. I gotta give me a new one. Ooh, that's three for Daddy Van Dam. Get you some! That's a fat one. With a broke rotten reel. Look, the reel fell off. What? <laughs> my reel fell right off my pole. <laughs> I had to hand line that fish in because my reel fell off. My line's all tangled. I'm quite the mess over here, people. Well, uh, that's three fish. for Daddy Van Dam. And I broke my rod and reel, so that means we got to pack it up and call it a day. I win. Let's go home. Bye. You know why? It's it the man hands. It ain't a kicking combo. Man. When you got some of that right there, horsepower, that's what happens. Kickingtheirbass.com, link down below. <laughs> Well, there we go. Daddy Van Dam got him a good. That's a pretty good one. That's a that's fatty. fatty. Yeah, there's some bigger ones in here though, man. I want to see a bass too. We're running out of daylight here. We're trying our best. I, I haven't even caught a dang fish. I had one nibble. Y'all pay attention here. They think you're gonna get a leg up on me because I broke my reel. But they don't know I'm like freaking Tarzan. Oh my God! <laughs> he almost fell in. The Dude, if you would have tripped and fell in the water. <laughs> That's Tarzan, king of the jungle uh -oh. type of stuff right there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Dude, what in the Dude. world do I got? Dang 12 pounder. Oh yeah. Dude, that's a that's a good one. If it ain't bigger than your last one, it's probably a twin. That's a good one right there. Look at that thing, boys. That's a fat belly blip. <laughs> Fat belly bass. Fat belly brim. So <laughs> that is. Well, there we go. Pretty little bluegill for me. My first one today. Not bad. I just want to get a bass. I actually thought he was the bass the way he was running. Well, there we go, guys. That's my first brim. First little bluegill. 
of today. Not bad. We're running out of daylight, but we're still making it happen. We'll go ahead and get a nice little release on her and get her back in the water. I really want to catch a bass. The way she was running, I actually thought it was a bass, but uh, pretty little fish right there. Toss her back in the water. Thank you, baby. That's a slab. You can slap her on a sandwich, dude. Oh! <laughs> all in. <laughs> it's the only choice I got. All right, y'all. We came out here for about 30, 45 minutes. We caught us a few bluegill. Got a little sidetracked, but uh, we had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to see more live bait videos like this, let me know. I wanted to film one like this because we usually do when I come home and visit them. So I was like, you know what? We're going to do another one while we're here, especially since we got old Bobby with us. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you, if you guys loved it. And uh, check out Big Steve's channel down whoop, below. Y'all know what's up. And hashtag Daddy Van Dam and bring dad back. Down below. Peace out.